Okay, let's talk about the MDTP test. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the algebra MDTP test. And if you're watching this video, I assume that you are a college student in the state of California. So that's fantastic. I'm actually from California. I don't live there now, but I went to school there and grew up there. It's a uh, really beautiful state. Um, so with that being said, the whole idea behind the MDTP exams, it's the readiness exam for mathematics. So d depending on which MDTP exam you, you're going to be taking, um, the idea is for like, for example, the MDTP algebra exam, you're going to take this to see if you're essentially ready to take algebra. Okay, so things you could kind of expect on this uh, particular MDTP would be kind of like pre-algebra concepts. I got a nice little practice problem here for you. But before we get into that, let me tell you a little bit about myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math, um, middle school and high school math teacher, even top beyond that. But um, been in uh, education for many, many years. So uh, what I want to do here is just give you a little kind of pop quiz. You should be able to, to handle this particular type of problem. Certainly you would need to know how to do this um, you know, accurately to be ready for um, algebra. Now if you don't get this problem right, it's not the end of the world, but at least uh, it should highlight some weaknesses it can kind of start working on. Now before we get going here, I want to let you know that I actually have a specific uh, real comprehensive test prep course. Uh, for the MDTP algebra uh, readiness ex uh, test. So I'm going to leave the link to that course in the description of this video if you want to check that out. Okay, so let's get to this problem here. Now before, I, of course I'm going to solve it, but before I solve it, you should you know, maybe pause the video and see if you can figure it out. Okay, so what we have here is kind of a, well, I don't want to give you too many clues. Um, matter of fact, I'm not going to say much. So at this point, this point of the problem, you should just pause the video if you think you can figure it out. Do not use your calculator, do this by hand, okay? Now, for those of you that need a little bit more information, all right, so I'm gonna now kind of give you some clues, if you will, so you can, at any time you think that you know enough to solve this problem, you should go ahead and just uh, pause it and see if you can do it. Um, so what we have here is one, we have a, a fraction, right? So here's the numerator. Again, remember the numerator is the top part of the fraction and here's the denominator. So we have in the numerator, we have one minus two minus three minus four. So we're gonna have some value there, some number. We gotta figure out what that is, right? And then we're gonna divide that by what's in the denominator. And currently what's in the denominator is nothing to do down there, it's just a, a fraction in itself. So we have negative one half. So when you have a fraction that involves another fraction, well, I, uh, we call this a complex fraction because it's not just a number and another number, if you will. Uh, we have a number, you know, this will turn out to be some particular number and we're going to divide it by another fraction. So this is what we call a complex fraction, but definitely something you, you will need to be able to know how to do um, to really be able to do well on the NDTP uh, algebra readiness exam. So this is kind of arithmetic and it does involve some positive and negative numbers. Okay, so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and start solving the problem, and here we go. All right, so first of all, there's nothing to do again in the denominator, so we just have this negative one half. So I gotta figure out what's going on in the numerator. So what we have here, you gotta be very careful, these are negative numbers. So this is really one plus negative two, okay, plus a negative three, plus a negative four. So let's just add up all these negative numbers here. So I'm gonna do this over here so we can kind of see it better. Okay, so we have one plus, now I have two, a two, a three, so two and three is uh, five, right? So five and four is nine. So all this here is negative nine. So let's just double check this again. Two and three is five, and then five and four is nine, okay, and they're all negative, so this is gonna be a negative nine. So we're gonna add one plus a negative nine, and when we add this up, hopefully you're pretty good with your positive negative numbers. This is negative eight, okay? So our numerator is negative eight. So uh, if you got this part correct, then that's excellent. Okay, now before I go any further, let's take a look at something. So I have in, 
the numerator a negative number and in the denominator I have a negative number. So what do you get when you divide a negative by a negative? Okay, so any negative number divided by another negative number, the answer is going to be positive. Okay, so these are basic things that you know you, you definitely need to know to be ready for algebra. Okay, so a negative divided by negative is going to be positive. So this answer here is going to be positive. So I can kind of just forget these negative signs, if you will, okay, because I just know my final answer is going to be positive. But so what I have to figure out is what is 8 divided by one half okay what is eight divided by one half well when we have a complex fraction like this the easiest way to look at this problem so I have eight divided by one half is to write it differently okay so if you listen to what I'm saying I'm saying eight divided by one half well that's the same thing as saying eight divided by one half okay so this right here let me go ahead and just highlight this better for you. 8 divided by 1 half is equivalent to the fraction 8 divided by 1 half. You see what's going on there? So now, if you weren't quite sure what to do with this, if you rewrite it in this uh, manner, well, this should be just a simple straight fraction. Now, the whole idea here is do you understand how to add positive and negative numbers, divide positive and negative numbers? work with fractions. So if you don't, then you really got some work to do to be ready for algebra, but that's okay. I mean, uh, that's why you're watching this video is to figure out, hey, how do I prepare for this? But let's go ahead and figure, let's figure this out now. So eight divided by one half. So remember when we're dividing fractions, what we're gonna do, I don't wanna turn this into a complete lesson on fractions, although I could. This is gonna be eight times this fraction to the right of the division sign we flip. So that's 2 over 1. So we have 8, or 8 over 1. 8 over 1 is the same as 8. Now I went from division to multiplication by flipping this fraction to the right. It's called the reciprocal. And now when I multiply two fractions, it's pretty easy. I'll just multiply the numerators and the denominators. So 8 over 1 times 2 over 1 is just 8 times 2. So our answer is 16. So that's the answer here. And if you got that, then that's that's pretty good okay so but again that's no means this is by no means like the end-all be-all for what you you know want to study and be ready for for the MDTP algebra uh, test writing this test but uh, if you didn't figure this out or you know if you struggle with it don't you know don't panic okay what that is is an indicator for you to start studying and you need a good study plan okay so whether you use a course like uh, mine or some other material try to get yourself you know um, a really good study plan and it's worth it to you know study for this course one you're going to be trying to you know you, you obviously have a need to be able to take a math course uh, but second of all if you study for this uh, and, and then six you know successfully get into it an algebra course you'll be ready to do well in it okay so but let's go ahead and wrap up this particular video. Uh, again, I'm going to leave the link uh, to my MDTP Algebra Readiness uh, uh, Test Prep course in the description of this video if you want to check that out. I've been on YouTube for over, the time of this video for over 12 years. I literally have hundreds and hundreds of videos. So if you uh, on my channel, of course, I hope you subscribe. But you'll find a ton of videos that can help you uh, prepare for the, this particular test. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, definitely appreciate the thumbs up. And give me some feedback. You know, what uh, college you're going to? Um, you know, is this the first time you're taking the NDTP exam? How much more math do you intend to be taking? Is it, or you only do, you know, have to take one math class for what you're trying to, you know, are you trying to get an associate's or a bachelor's degree or something else like that? But any feedback is good feedback. But with that being said, I definitely uh, appreciate your time. I wish you all the best in your college uh, efforts. And uh, have a great day.